First, the Honest Trailer. Now that the Terminator franchise has been run into the ground and the Alien franchise is on life support, I'll do the fingering. The Predator franchise will be dug up from its grave, dusted off, <laughs> and have its face stomped in The Predator. Did you love the razor-focused intensity of the first and only good one? <laughs> well, too bad, because this is a film about a team of outcasts being hunted by an alien and a predator rebelling against his own people to save the Earth and an autistic boy's unlikely gifts <laughs> and one soldier's quest to and. clear his name and <laughs> a biologist unraveling the mystery of predator human evolution <laughs> all at the same time <laughs> in this sloppy mess barely held together by dialogue written by Shane Black's character in Predator 1. You know, I'd like a little <laughs> It's a p***y. Jeez, you got a big p***y. He called me a p***y and nobody calls me p***y. <laughs> huh? Meet the loonies, mm. outcast soldiers stripped of their ranks and all but one character trait. There's Thomas Jane playing a man with movie Tourette's. I got, got. Keegan, <laughs> stop doing your mama jokes. How do you circumcise a homeless man? Kick your mom in the chin. If your mom's vagina were a video game, it'd be rated E for everyone. The guy from Moonlight mumbling through a cigarette. Mm. Mm. Theon Greyjoy in search of a reason to be in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> And the bad guy from Logan in a star turn as a generic <laughs> soldier with a very elastic butthole. <laughs> They'll team up with Olivia Munn, a biologist whose <laughs> combat training comes out of nowhere because apparently her intro scene had a real predator in it. And they'll all fight the evil Sterling K. Brown, who's here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And he's all out of. He's all out of. <laughs> he's all. He's. Okay, I guess he's just here to chew gum and die. <laughs> the Predator is back to save us all. So, this is his gift to uh, humankind. Uh, or not. It's unclear. <laughs> and this time, the galaxy's greatest hunter must face its most dangerous opponent since Dodge. Expansion of the lore. <laughs> Dreads. What's that all about? I don't know, maybe like sensory receptors? For franchise. What? Purposes. <laughs> no, I told you how to take people's spines, right? Purposes. I think they're attempting hybridization. Hey guys, Alien Hunts Badasses is all we need. <laughs> we were pitch. Done. That's it. So if you want desperate battles, genuinely shocking carnage, and immortal one-liners, rewatch the original. <laughs> Stick around. Because the <laughs> only thing here being stalked, killed, and kept as a trophy is your time. You are one oh. ugly mother f <laughs> starring G.I. Schmo, <laughs> Chewy, <laughs> Young Sheldon, X Wing oh, wow. at Aloysiousness, Missouri Western State University, <laughs> Dr. Tough Lady Girl, PhD, <sighs> you versus the predator she told you not to worry about, <laughs> Stupor Shredder, Duratan, <laughs> This is Dumb, and that thing where dogs look like their owner. <laughs> Audience versus Predator. Wow. <laughs> Hulk, Alien, The Thing, I Am Legend, The Fly, Ghostbusters, this movie. Why does every single nerd franchise have evil dogs in it? Can a monster get an evil turtle or something? <laughs> <laughs> my carpet matches my drapes. Oh my god. Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. I am the Hubba Jubba Man. <laughs> Yummy, yummy, I like hamburgers in my tummy. <laughs> my hamster is in the gym. And now, the pitch meeting. So, you have a new Predator movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Fantastic. This is gonna be much better than trying to make something original. Agreed. So in this one, we're gonna have a Predator crash onto Earth, right? Uh-oh. But the <laughs> twist is that later, we're gonna learn that he's actually here to help the humans. Oh, interesting. So he's not actually gonna kill any humans. Oh, no, he's gonna kill a bunch of humans. <laughs> oh, he is? Yeah, super a violently, bunch. too. He's gonna do that thing where he strings one up from a tree and skins him. Oh, my God. Yeah, and he's gonna <laughs> rip a guy's arm off, use that to give a thumbs up. And we're gonna say he's here to help humans. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough love, I guess. So why does he <laughs> want to save us? Because there are super big predators on the way and they want to take over the planet because global warming is going to kill humans and they want to move in. What? Yeah, pretty cool, right? <laughs> I didn't what? understand what you're talking about. That doesn't make any sense. He wants to help humans because global warming and giant predators. Okay. Also, the super predators want some human DNA. Oh, they want the DNA now too? Yeah, I'm all over the place with this one. <laughs> yeah, you really are. So how does the good predator plan on helping the humans? Well, we're only going to see it in the last scene, but he brought them a suit so they can fight against the super predators. One suit to fight off a whole invasion? Yeah, it's like an Iron Man suit, but it has dreadlocks. Oh, people love Marvel. That's actually a good move for us. Oh yeah, and we're also going to throw some Marvel-style humor into the movie. How are we going to do that? Well, you know how sometimes a movie will have a character that's like comic relief to break the tension? Yeah. Well, in this movie, every character is going to be comic relief. <laughs> wow, people are going to be so relieved. Yeah, there's going to be no tension, just relief. Amazing. So tell me about the characters. <laughs> well, the main guy is named Quinn McKenna, and he witnessed the predator land on Earth. Friendly predator that kills people or super predator that kills people? Friendly predator who kills people. Gotcha. <laughs> so the government puts him on a bus to a mental institution where he meets a bunch of wacky characters. Sounds wacky. But before the government caught him, he had sent some alien items home and his son starts to play with them. Oh, what's his son's deal? His son is super smart and he has autism. Oh, we have to be careful with how we portray disorders like that. It could be a sensitive subject. Well, we're going to say that autism is like the next step in human evolution. Okay, well, I guess that portraying it as a superpower is a safe way to go about it. You want to be respectful with these things, you know? We're also going to have a guy with Tourette's and we're going to make fun of his disorder the whole movie. Well, that's one of the funny disorders, so that's okay. That's exactly. one of the we're funny good ones. People. We're good people. So yeah, oh basically we have this movie set up where a super big alien wants to rip out this kid's spine so he can use his autism to level up. Oh, oh, it's happening. What, what, what is going on? Oh, it's a good one too. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's just that when all the people who pioneered cinema roll over in their graves <laughs> at the same time, it can cause some little earthquakes. Well, that's kind of neat. It is, isn't it? Wow. So what's the <laughs> dynamic like between the dad and his kid? Oh, super cute. At a certain point, the kid's like, Dad, I'm sorry I didn't turn out the way you wanted. And he's like, that's okay. I didn't turn out well either. That's actually incredibly oh mean. God. Yeah, real cute. We also have the mom in the movie. <laughs> oh, what does she do? She has this badass scene where she tells the government, you messed with the wrong family, and then we never see her again. <laughs> Mysterious. There's also a scientist, and her name is Casey. What's her backstory? She's a scientist. I love it. Yeah, she's also super skilled with weapons and action scenes. She does a bunch of crazy stuff. Oh, so she's not just a scientist. Well, that's all we're gonna learn about her. Fair enough. Oh, we're also gonna have some predator dogs in the movie. Wow, that sounds scary. Yeah, but one of them's gonna turn good. How does that happen? It gets shot in the head, and that makes it friendly. <laughs> I'm a powerful studio executive, and I'm gonna approve that idea. Fantastic. <laughs> and what happens in the third act? Oh, you're gonna like this. In the third third act, we're gonna have action. Oh yeah? Tell me more about that. There's gonna be action. There's gonna be a bunch of it. But like, what kind of stuff is gonna happen? Oh, well, I figure we could edit it together so fast that nobody's gonna have any idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> Very smart. Yeah, it's just gonna be shot after shot of complete nonsense. People are gonna be like, wait, did Casey just teleport? And wait, did the main human villain just shoot himself in the head? I love it. You can't be bored if you're completely disoriented, right? <sighs> That's the idea. Plus, it gives the movie rewatch value. How so? Well, if people want to try and figure out what the hell just happened, they're gonna have to rewatch watch the movie, probably at half speed. Oh, that's actually genius. Anyway, so at the end of the movie, the main dude is gonna see the Iron Man suit and be like, that's my new suit. Oh, is he in charge of something now? Unclear. And also his 10-year-old <laughs> son has a job in the government now. Oh, child labor is tight. My personal driver is seven. Oh, that's illegal and dangerous for many reasons. Wow. So what do you think of the movie? Hey man, as long as we beat the opening weekend of Predators from 2010, I'm happy. You think we can do that? Oh yeah, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is our first video where we're doing a kind of a versus, I guess, in a sense. So we're doing the honest trailer for Predators versus the pitch meeting for Predators. And in the comments below, I want you to put which one's better. Just put which one's better because we have to we have to decide uh, on some of these. So let me know if you like this kind of stuff because I'll do this, you know, more often than not if uh, if you like it. But uh, we gotta decide. We gotta decide. And now I'll give you mine. I'll give you mine now, but I don't want that to determine your answer. But uh, the Honest Trailer wins this one for me, uh, hands down. Uh, it was just hilarious. I mean, just the way that it goes about each character with <laughs> Chewy, with Sterling K. Brown's character chewing the, the bubble gum. That got me. That, that almost killed me. But I think it also helps with the Honest Trailers because they have the footage to show with the movies. Obviously, they do theirs, you know, later once they can do that but with pitch meetings when they come out soon after the movie comes out in most cases they just have you know pictures sometimes they can show footage from the trailer sometimes they can't uh but 
so that in, in some cases, I think that does hurt pitch meetings. Uh, I guess in comparison, when you try to do a, a versus match between Honest Trailers and pitch meetings. So for me, Honest Trailers wins this. It, it, it was hilarious. Both are funny, but Honest Trailers just hands down killed this thing. So let me know in the comments below, which one do you vote for? Honest Trailers or pitch meetings? I want to know. Uh, I think this will be fun. And uh, also let me know, you know, just what you think of, of the movie Predators. Uh, I'm sorry, The Predator. Not Predators, just The Predator newest one predators was all right i mean like these movies are okay if you just want to kind of turn your, your brain off and watch some action so this one just didn't make any sense at all um and there's some things i don't remember about predators as much with adrian brody but obviously we know predator with arnold schwarzenegger is, is the the best so I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's funny that they keep trying to do this. So let me know what you think in the comments below about these, this pitch meeting and the honest trailer. Again, which one do you choose as the winner between this matchup? Uh, I want to know and I'll, uh, we'll talk about which one wins in the next video we do, uh, for the versus matchup. So, so overall, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I love what I'm seeing in the comments. I love talking to you guys and seeing your, uh, your opinions on these pitch meetings and, and how I'm going about these videos. I love it. So, uh, comment below, like this video, share this video or the channel with someone if you think they would appreciate the content and like it and laugh and just enjoy, you know, some happy times. <laughs> and as always, I will see you guys on the next one.